Hello, this is the first part in the Cocos 2DX JavaScript tutorial series. The main reason we will be using JavaScript instead of C++ is because JavaScript is becoming a very popular language. Obviously, it's very popular in the web, but also for development in applications as well, and native development in applications such as Windows 8 applications. And even though C++ is heavily supported by the developers of Cocos 2DX, they recommend from now on to use JavaScript as I believe that they will be concentrating heavily on JavaScript as it is truly multi-platform. You, you can use JavaScript online, you can use it on iOS, on Android, on Windows Phone, on Windows 8, on so many different platforms. So that is one of the main reasons I will be using JavaScript and it's also very easy to learn. In this first tutorial, all we'll be doing is setting up the project so it, it, it actually works. Um, there's a bit of setup process that needs to be done. First of all, you just need to open up a web browser and go to the Cocos 2d-x.org website. Then you want to click on the download link in the menu bar at the top. Then you want to download the latest version. The latest version as of creating this video is 2.2.1. There is 3.0 but they that is in alpha stage, so I will be working with the stable release of 2.2.1. This tutorial should hopefully be relevant for newer versions as well, but you may need to slightly alter the steps in this tutorial to get it running in the later versions. I already have it downloaded to my desktop, so I'll be running it from there. To extract it, you just double click on a Mac. Now that Cocos 2DX has been extracted into this folder, you want to open it. Before, in the older versions, there used to be a .sh file to install a template into Xcode. That is no longer available. So to actually create a project, you need to go onto Tools, Project Creator, and we'll be working with this file here, create underscore project dot py. The py indicates it is a Python file. To work with this, we need to open up Terminal, then you want to change the directory of the terminal to this directory. You do cd, which stands for chain directory. Instead of typing at this directory um, yourself, just drag and drop, and the directory is there. Click enter, and now we're in that directory. If you type in ls and click enter, it shows all the files within that directory. To actually generate a project, you want to do python space create underscore project dot py space dash project space and now here is where you put the name of your project I'm just going to call it tutorial then space dash package space here is where you name your package L like the project you can name it whatever you want I'm going to name it learning dot sonar systems dot tutorial then finally you do dash language here you specify what language you want this project to be in we're going to be using JavaScript so I'm going to type in JavaScript click enter and the new project has been created if you go back to the root directory of your Cocos 2D folder you'll see a new folder called projects in there there will be your project called tutorial if you go into tutorial there's a classes folder there's a project for Android iOS Windows 32 and there's a resources folder. We'll be working with iOS but these tutorials can be easily adapted for Android and Windows 32. You want to go into your project.ios like I did and open up the project folder. This is what we get. A lot of these are actual library files for Cocos 2D and Box 2D and other several frameworks which we will not be dealing, we won't be directly editing them, we'll just be using them. If you click play and, and let it compile, it will fail. If you look at the error, the error states it cannot locate main.js. I honestly have no idea why this is 
the case from a generated project I would assume that it should work but the way to fix this is to go to resources rename this to main.js then you want to go to classes appdelegate.cpp rename this to main.js rename hello to main.js and if you click play it should run this in the simulator there we have it it's running the existing code if we go into resources and main.js it gets these files the resource and the myapp.js which is in the um, source folder there's the myapp where all of this is declared you get the close menu item which is down here at the moment it does nothing but print out a log in the uh, output down here there is also a label which is up here then there is a sprite which is in the center of the screen now these uh, items or, the, or these pieces of information are just debug information which can be turned off and you naturally would turn these off if you were to publish your game in any capacity and that is it for this first tutorial in this first tutorial we'll show you where you can download the Cocos 2DX framework unpacking it how to generate a project you can generate it for C++ as well by changing JavaScript to CPP at the end of the command renaming the Cocos 2D JavaScript file to main.js and then referencing it in the appdelegate.cpp and now that runs in the next tutorial I will show you how to enable this current project to support multi resolutions such as iPhone Retina iPod, iPad Retina and also make the project fall back onto lower resolution resources if it cannot find a higher resolution resource but that will be for the next tutorial thanks for watching